In this video, we are going to look at capacitors and how to use them. If we look at modern electronics today, there's a good chance it will contain a capacitor in one form or another. This is because the uses of capacitors are so endless. Capacitors come in all shapes, colors, types, and sizes. But what are capacitors and why are they so important in our circuits? To understand why capacitors are so important to our circuits, we must understand how they work. Capacitors are considered a type of storage tank in electronics. Capacitors work by storing energy in two parallel plates of conductive material around another material called a dielectric. When a capacitor is connected to a voltage source, it charges up and stores electrical energy. When we disconnect the capacitor from the voltage source, it retains the stored energy for a short period of time. To demonstrate this in action, let's grab a breadboard and test it out. If we take our LED, put it in our breadboard and connect it to a supply, we see that it lights up. However, if we disconnect the LED from the supply voltage, it goes dim. If we add a capacitor to the circuit, like this 2200 microfarad one, and let it charge, then disconnect the power, we see that the LED will still lit for a period of time and then slowly goes dim. This is because the capacitor charges and when the power supply is removed, it returns voltage to the circuit. When we close the connection, the capacitor charges. However, when we move the power, the capacitor discharges via a 1K resistor and slowly dims the LED. When capacitors are coupled with resistors like this, they are known as RC circuits. However, that is a topic for another video. We should also know that although capacitors are like power bank series circuits and can supply power, they are nowhere near as energy dense as batteries, even this large one. All capacitors are not created the same, however. For example, if we replace the 2200 microfarad one with a 0.1 nanofarad one, we see that the LED goes the most instantly. This is because capacitors have different capacitance values, which indicate how much charge a capacitor can store. The unit of capacitance is the farad. And this is a very large value. It is actually more common to speak about capacitance in terms of microfarads and picofarads in electronics. Capacitors also have a maximum voltage they work up to, which must not be exceeded. Capacitors also have a maximum temperature rating that should not be exceeded. Capacitors also come in different packages such as axial and radial. They are also surface mount capacitors that are quite common in electronics today. There are many types of different dielectric materials, the electrolytic and ceramic ones are most commonly used in projects today. A point to note is that ceramic capacitors are not polarized. Electrolytic ones however are polarized and they should not be connected backwards. Another common use of capacitors is what is known as a decoupling capacitor which is commonly found during the pins of ICs. Decoupling capacitors also popular in power supply circuits, such as this one created with this LM7805 IC. The capacitor is there because it smooths out the ripple, which may be present on rectified AC. Capacitors can do this because they will block DC, but allow AC to pass. Another common application used with capacitors is in brush DC motors. The capacitors are placed there to absorb electrical noise created by the motor and helps deal with spikes or dips such as when the motor starts up or has a short stall. All in all, capacitors are important in your circuits and aren't going anywhere soon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.